This is a modern take on a boutonniere for the groom who doesn't want to wear a flower. Let me show you how it's done. We're using really interesting materials, um, pyrite, crystals, wire lace, and wire. So we're gonna start with a eight inch piece of 24 gauge wire that I'm just gonna snip off of my spool here. And we have an eight, eight inch piece. I'm gonna fold it in half, taking my two ends and just kind of using my finger to make a round kind of loop on the top. And this is where we're gonna secure the, a piece of pyrite. So I have little chunks of pyrite here, you can see. And you can get pyrite in smaller nuggets. You can also get it in bigger pieces and hammer it to get smaller chunks. Position it in that loop on an area where there's maybe like a nick in the pyrite so it will hold it well. And I'm gonna loop it around, press it down at the bottom and make sure it's gonna be secure there, like so. And then with flat nose pliers, I'm going to really secure it by just twisting the pyrite enough so that that loop is really secure around it. And then to not overwork the wire, I'm just gonna do the twisting with my fingers after I do about two twists under there with the pliers. So you can just twist down, and this is just gonna give it a, a, a looser twist than that really tight one right underneath. So that's securing your pyrite. Snip off any extra wire you have. So that's how you wire a piece of pyrite. And you can make maybe like four to five of those for each boutonniere. And then you're gonna do your crystals. And I'm working with these quartz crystals. They're just rough crystals, really kind of jagged and raw good for like a modern wedding. I'm gonna do the same thing I did with the, for the pyrite, is cut about an eight and a half inch piece of 24 gauge wire. And fold it in half, just like I did for the pyrite. And then on the crystal, you're gonna find the same thing. You wanna find some sort of indentation in it to secure the wire. And if it doesn't have an indentation, on it like this one where two crystals were growing together, you can twist the wire around more than just once if necessary. But you're gonna do the same thing, give it one little twist underneath to secure and then twist the quartz so that it's really tight around it. And then again with your fingers, twist down. And then you can trim off any ends, loose ends. So you can make, I, I was making them with two crystals and five pieces of pyrite to make a nice little bundle. So that's wiring your crystal. And then we're gonna make the leaves. And the leaves, you need a 20 gauge wire. And we're gonna cut, same thing, about eight, six to eight inches of wire. And in the center, instead of just doing that loose kind of loop bend, I'm gonna hold it with my pliers and give it a nice bend so that it has a point at the end. So you can see it makes sort of a leaf shape, little fishy kind of shape. And then the same thing like I was doing with all the rest, I'm gonna just hold right at the bottom, give it a twist. And for now, I'm gonna leave it just like that, one little twist, put that down. Now we're gonna add wire lace. Wire lace is a sort of trim that actually has wire in it. It comes in a tubular form. So what I'm gonna do here is open it up by just inserting a pencil. So you can see how it is wrapped around. You can really see the detail on the wire lace when it's like that. And then I'm gonna lightly, gently pull it off. And you can see because it's wire, it holds its shape. And I'm gonna stick my leaf right in there, pulling it over that wire shape. Give it a little twist down at the bottom and a twist at the top. And then with wire snippers, just snip it off, leaving a kind of a little length at the tip. Then when you have that done, you can add a little, pe a little bit of um, adhesive, like a crazy sort of glue, anything that dries fast. You just want a little dab on the top and retwist it a little bit, make sure it's really tight. And for the bottom, you can see I twisted it around 
my first twist there and I'm just gonna continue to twist my wire and it will secure it into the rest of your twist. And then when your glue is dry, you can just snip off that extra piece on the top. So I'm gonna put that aside. So once you have all of your pyrite crystals and have made a bunch of leaves, you can start bundling them together. So I'm gonna take three leaves that I've prepared, hold them like this, and you can kind of stretch them out so that they're fanned. Then I'm gonna do two crystals, and the leaves really help hold up the heavy stones. So you can layer those, and I like to stagger them so they're at different heights, make it a little more organic. Then I'm gonna add some pyrite. And same thing, you can kind of stagger it. It doesn't have to be perfect at this point because we are going to, we can adjust it at the end after we wrap it. So I'm gonna use about five pieces of pyrite. So there's my bundle. Like we did all the other ones, I'm pinching it at the bottom and I'm gonna twist it. And then if you have some pieces that are a little longer, you can just snip those off with your wire snippers. So we have a bundle, but it's not complete yet because we are going to use the wire lace. And what I love about this stuff is it can be wrapped around and used in all different ways. So for this way, we're gonna use it more like a trim. I'm just going to wrap it around the stem and it kind of stretches around that wire, cleaning it up so that you don't have any loose wire ends. It'll cover all of that. And then when you get to the very bottom of all your wires, finish it off with that wire lace and then snip your wire lace Smooth it out into your wrap and add a tiny dot of glue to really secure it. So tiny, you barely see it. But it is adhering there. So from there, you have your boutonniere and all you need to do is pin it onto your groomsman's jacket, your groom's jacket with a nice big uh, pearl headed pin and it looks really nice and different. It'll be really unique. It'll be the talk of the wedding.